Hey everyone, so version 0 0.8 just came out for the comma 2 today. And in case some of you users actually want to revert back to 0 0.710, this video will show you how. So to begin with, it's usually best to actually have your comma 2 um, out of your car and into your home. Uh, so it's actually like, closer to your router so that uh, the PC that you'll be using along with the comma 2 will be uh, just, it'll just have a better connection. What you'll need actually is a USB wall adapter and a USB-C to a USB-A cable. Now you can't just use a USB-C to USB-C and for instance, plug it into the laptop or another wall adapter, it has to be a USB-A to a USB-C. So first off, I'm going to actually uh, plug in my comma. This already has uh, version 0 0.8 on it. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and plug it in normally. All right, so you heard it vibrate and it should be booting up now. So we're gonna give it some time to boot up and then I'll show you the process and actually uh, downgrading back to 0 0.7.10. All right, so now with the comma two bo booted up, as you can see, we've got 0 0.80 on release on this device. Um, it's already connected online because it's on my Wi-Fi, as you can see here. Now, what you're going to need to do is uh, tap on the settings, head over to developer, and you notice here it says enable SSH. What you need to do is actually enable that so that now uh, this device will be ready to connect to your PC or even your smartphone if you're able to do so and uh, uh, use the SSH communication with it. So we're actually going to just leave this on now and just set it down. And the majority of the process is actually going to be on the PC itself. Now. So there's different ways to use the SSH uh, communication. And actually what the one I use is uh, going to be using a program called Workbench. And so what you have to do is, I'll, send the, I'll put the links down below, but essentially you have to go to their GitHub. It'll be Workbench by JFrux here. And you just have to go and get the file. So you see this download Workbench here. So I'm gonna go ahead and download that because I'm running Windows, but you can also do it with Mac. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and install Workbench now. I'm just going to close this window out really quick. And here we are. So now both the comma 2 and my laptop are on the same Wi-Fi, and that's actually why I'm able to see my device immediately over here. So this is the Workbench program. Now, all it did was automatically connect to my comma 2. So actually when I tap into here, I'm already, I'm already loaded into the actual comma 2 device. And now I'm gonna show you how to actually go ahead and run a command to downgrade your comma 2 to seven, uh, 0 0.710 it's under fax. Go to fax, head all the way down, and if you go to our Discord, you'll be accepted in. Should be maybe under installation help. Now, this is the command you're gonna need actually. You notice here, um, it says, so this command here will actually uh, tell the comma 2 to update to 
or downgrade to 7.1. Now, all you need to do is just copy and paste this command. So I'm going to copy. I'm going to head over to Workbench, and I'm going to tap into this window here until you see this little white blinker. I'm going to edit and paste. So now the command is pasted in. I haven't pressed enter yet, but I just wanted to make sure that you see that we are still on V080. All right, so now I'm gonna press enter. And it's going to do its thing. Now this may take a while because it's essentially going to be downloading uh, the entire version of 0 0.701 and then it's going to be loading it into the actual common device. So you have to give it some time and luckily we will see some of the progress based on the percentage over here. And we also got to give a big shout out to uh, this user Erich or Eric H, um, super helpful uh, member of the comma community. All right, so now I don't know if you hear it, but essentially our, it's done doing its thing on Workbench, and now our Comma 2 device is rebooting. All right, and we're back. So after a long time, we should have comma up and running again. So it went through a pretty long process, but now it's back. And as you see here, we are back on 0 0.7.1 release. And that's about it.